folks in this uh, video I'm going to showcase a case study of using uh, the video sequence editor okay I'll be using images from uh, the big bug bunny uh, website these six images so I've stored these images uh, to you know the disk uh, these six and then this one and uh, this one so this is image number one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I save them uh, in the sequence. So this is number one, okay. And then uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay. So as you can see here, uh, I've set up a sequence uh, strip, okay, for the scene named uh, storyboard, yeah. And uh, added some, uh, you know, effect strips so that uh, we can transition uh, gradually from one strip to the other okay so uh, I had to write uh, some you know tools well in this case one tool so that I can uh, uh, automate some of the steps okay so I'll be also showcasing that okay so after setting this up okay we'll then uh, render an animation out okay uh, and then uh, you know render the whole uh, you know video sequence okay so let's get started okay um, and uh, you'll also notice I'm using a specific layout here okay uh, I based it on the default video editing layout that comes with blender okay um, and I created my own okay so let me uh, open a new file so this is my uh, layout okay so first off I'm going to save my uh, session okay I'll call this as uh, record and compress the file and then uh, okay over here I'm going to uh, add a image sequence okay so I've saved uh, these images in a folder called CCC okay so I'm going to choose all these images shift click okay to choose these images or I can also uh, use the A key okay to toggle the selection okay and then my start frame is 1 number of frames is 8 because we have uh, 8 images as you can see I have uh, named them 1 through 8 okay and then channel is 1 okay so let me add image strip okay so you'll notice uh, 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 a sequence strip uh, is added okay let's uh, zoom in um, there you go so you can uh, display the uh, properties okay to control click on this panel and you can see uh, we have uh, at on channel 1 there is a strip okay by this name and the length of the strip is 8 okay so you can press home key to frame this uh, over here even here and here you can use also use a scroll mouse button and then uh, let's uh, click and drag okay and you can see these 8 images okay now I'm going to name uh, rename this strip as uh, storyboard.001 because I'm going to split this strip into individual uh, sequence strips okay and based on this name uh, the other strips will be named okay um, so I'm going to automatically uh, you know create the other strips okay so let me load uh, the script okay so this will be available to you uh, okay open okay so before we run this script uh, let's first split this yeah so uh, I'm gonna click on the strip and then separate the images okay and then choose uh, a frame range okay I'll choose uh, each image should be displayed for 24 frames okay and then you'll notice uh, okay in the outliner okay eight strips have been created 
and if you scroll here okay so eight strips okay have been created yep cool um, let's also set the scene frame range since we have eight strips and each strip is 24 frames so I'll say eight times 24 okay and then uh, lock it and press the home key so there you go okay you can use the page up and page down key uh, with the mouse in the sequence editor okay to quickly check is eight frames okay cool now you'll notice uh, all these are in the same channel okay uh, so we are going to run this script over here okay uh, so what the script does is uh, it will rename uh, these strips okay I can right click okay uh, to s see the current strip so you'll notice uh, this particular strip has uh, uh, you know frame number one as input and this strip has okay so in this tutorial uh, I'm going to be you know clicking in the center of these strips okay uh, initially yeah cool so uh, there you go so let's run this script now so once I run this script uh, the names of the strips will be changed to the name of uh, you know the strip input and also each one will be moved to its own channel right so without further ado uh, let me run this script boom there you go so I can scroll the mouse okay and uh, you can also control middle click move up and down okay to fit these uh, in the view okay and just middle click to pan the view alright cool uh, so now you notice uh, the names of the strips have been changed and also the channel in which they belong okay so a little bit of Python we can automate uh, this setup okay cool so now we have uh, okay cool you can use a timeline to go to the start and end of the sequence okay now it's time to save the file okay control s or you can just file and uh, save and the uh, next step is uh, adding transitions between uh, these strips so shift click uh, I mean first select a strip and then sh uh, like shift click and then add an FX strip so we'll start with a wipe so you see this uh, white dotted line a white line okay so, so that's the active strip okay which you can see here okay now uh, you can move it to uh, channel 3 okay and then uh, we want a transition from this strip to this strip so right click on this uh, left side and then uh, you know like you know press the G key so you are grabbing it and then move the mouse to the left Okay, so we have some overlap. So now, if I move the mouse here, you can see uh, there is an overlap. So let's right-click on uh, this wipe strip, and then uh, add some blur. Okay, so you'll notice. Uh, okay, this transition. You can also play with uh, the different uh, in and out directions. Okay, to add this transition. Okay, cool. Um, you can also mess around with the angle and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. So basically, here I have three sequence editors. So this is sequence editor number one. Okay. You can see. Okay. And uh, and then I have uh, two other copies of the sequence editor, and I've chosen uh, you know display of uh, you know different sequencer types okay cool uh, so similarly you can uh, right click these two and then add uh, another effect so this time I'm gonna add a cross and uh, since it's selected you can uh, move it to channel number four and then right click 
and uh, grab and uh, move it okay so now uh, you'll notice there is a transition okay so yep that's how you uh, add uh, different uh, effects okay and uh, once you're ready uh, you can just uh, you know add a note okay uh, for example I can copy this and uh, control V okay and then maybe increase this a bit and choose a output file name so I'll call this record okay and uh, yeah we are ready to uh, render so let me uh, just reduce this okay to 40 percent okay, maybe 38 percent and uh, render the animation okay uh, width is not divisible by zero okay so I'll make it 40 and then render the animation okay so you'll notice uh, all the sequence strips are being blended using the FX strips okay so uh, yeah so that's the process of uh, using the video sequence editor so in this case uh, I'm trying to use it to create a, a storyboard all right so um, yep yeah. uh, thanks